So this is the answer booklet for cell division and stem cells 4.2 additional biology. So you've got the review sheet which and the knowledge organiser which you can use to help answer the questions. And then the first question, the diagram below shows the two different types of cells, division type A and B, which occur in the human body. In the type of cell division shown in diagram A, so in diagram A as you can see we have our original cell and it splits into four daughter cells, so it has to be meiosis. The cells in stage one each contain 46 chromosomes. Complete the diagram by writing in the number of chromosomes found in each of the cells in stage two and three. So in stage two, they all have 46, and then in stage three, they all have 23. So in meiosis, we have half the number of chromosomes. The cells drawn in stage three develop into specialized cells, what name is given to these cells? They are gametes, and gametes is our, is our scientific term for sex cells. Complete the sentence below by placing a circle on the correct word. All the cells in stage 3 are genetically different because they have half the number of chromosomes from the original cell. Name one process during which type of cell division shown diagram B would occur. So this is mitosis, and it would occur in the growth and repair of cells. The following diagram represents the stages of the life cycle of a mammal. The number of chromosomes in cells at different stages in the life cycle are shown. So you've got the parents, we've got gametes. And in the type of cell division taking place at letter P. So at letter P we can see we have a female cell that contains 40 chromosomes. Then we have a cell that contains 20. And those cells are our gametes. And we know meiosis is for the production of gametes. So it would be meiosis. Complete the diagram by writing in the number of chromosomes found in each of the cells labelled R and S reproduced during growth. So keyword there we are looking at is growth. Could know the function of mitosis is for growth and repair. So in mitosis the cells are identical. So if we start with 40, we're then going to end with 40. The diagram below shows a human cell dividing by mitosis to form two new cells. Complete the diagram by writing the number of chromosomes in each of the new cells. So again, a keyword tells us mitosis and the cells are identical. So if we start with 46, we're going to end with 46. Mitosis enables organisms to grow, state one other function, and then it's the repair of cells. Complete the table which compares mitosis with meiosis. So in mitosis, we have two daughter cells. In meiosis, we have four. In mitosis, the cells are identical. In meiosis, they are different. What's the scientific term for the sex cells which are produced? It is gametes. This is a six mark question. Describe and explain the two differences between the differences between mitosis and meiosis. We have to make the comparison when we're describing the differences. So. In mitosis, we have two daughter cells, and then in meiosis, we have four daughter cells. See, I've made the comparison. Without the comparison, you won't get the marks. In mitosis, the daughter cells are identical. In meiosis, the daughter cells are different. In mitosis, we have diploid cells. In meiosis, we have haploid cells. It's used for growth and repair in mitosis, and it's for the protection of gametes for meiosis. Barack Obama, the President of the United States, supports research into the use of embryonic stem cells. However, Newt Gingrich, who was hoping to become President, said in February 2012 that he would ban embryonic stem cell research if he became President. So just why some people support embryonic stem cells, whereas others do not. So in support of it, it's because they will cure a variety of diseases. People are against it because it's the destruction of potential life. In December 2010, a dog named Boris was treated for severe arthritis in the hip joint in a veterinary clinic in West Michigan, USA. Some of the stages in the treatment are shown below. A few months after treatment, Boris was examined at the veterinary centre. His hips were found to have greatly improved and x-rays of the hip joint showed evidence of repair of the joint tissues. State which type of cells are injected into stage 3. So in stage 3, they inject stem cells because they can differentiate into any type of cell. So one advantage of this method over treatment over the use of embryonic stem cells, but again, it doesn't destroy potential life. 
The drawing below shows human embryonic stem cells. What features of stem cells could make them useful in treating many different medical conditions? Well, they're not specialised and they're undifferentiated. A laboratory in Japan has recently developed stem cells in human adult skin cells. Suggests by using human adult stem cells, might be preferred to use an embryonic stem cells. No ethical issues of destroying potential life. That question's asked all the time the stem cells comes up. Plants also have stem cells, which two numbers in parts one to five of the plant cell contain stem cells. Number one in the shoot and number five in the roots. A diagram shows how some parts of the joints can be replaced in stages in the procedure we are shown in the left hand column. So a cluster of embryonic human cells are laid on a support mesh. The mesh is placed in an incubator. Cells form new tissue. New tissue can be implanted in the body to repair the damage. What general name is given to the cells such as embryonic human cells shown in stage one? They are stem cells. And then tick the box in each column in the table to identify some features of cell division that would take place. So the, the function of the cell division, so increase the number of cells, where it would take place in the nucleus, and the number of chromosomes, they would be the same number of chromosomes in the cell. So just a, a possible ethical issue related to the technology shown in the diagram. Again, the destruction of potential life if we use embryonic stem cells.